For many British Columbians with family in Turkey, it's been a long 24 hours of waiting for word. Those who have heard from loved ones are hearing stories of absolute devastation and that Turkey will need BC's and the world's support for many months to come. CTV's Sinjin Alexander has that part of the story. British Columbians began seeing these images before they went to bed. By morning, they were only worse. So it's no surprise as regulars filed into this Turkish bakery on 4th. Scary. Their first questions, how are you? What can we do to help? Now our families, they're okay, but they're all living outside in their cars. Owner Alper Tazdermaz says loved ones called right away, saying, don't worry, we survived. They described violence, seemingly endless shaking, the longest quake they've ever experienced. And some of the roads are blocked. That's what we heard from the traffic accidents, the highways and other stuff. So the rescue teams are not able to arrive exactly on time. Others heard the news Sunday night, just as they were closing. It was worrying because at that point, details were scarce, yet the magnitude of the quake was telling. We didn't know what happened exactly because yesterday evening there was the people were saying on social media there was just five six people dead but we knew that that was something serious now as stories of heroic efforts and heartbreaking rescues are told so are stories of looting and scams that's the worst part we hear that kind of stories too employees are advising customers to donate to established charities and the simit bakery is planning its own fundraiser one day soon where all profits will go to the relief effort. Sinjin Alexander, CTV News, Vancouver.